Now, in a bid to phase out smoking habits among the younger generation, New Zealand has decided to take on the fight against cigarette smoking. The country is set to gradually ban the sale of tobacco. Any person aged 14 or below will not be able to buy a pack of cigarettes. Now, the new law will effectively ban smoking by lifting the age at which tobacco products can be bought. That means today's young teens will never be able to buy cigarettes legally. New Zealand currently outlaws tobacco sales to under 18s. The age ban would increase annually by one year from 2027 to reach the smoke-free goal. Now, the level of nicotine in all cigarettes on sale will also be reduced. Our projections show the New Zealand European population is likely to achieve smoke-free status by 2025. But Māori won't achieve this goal for decades if we don't act now. We must move away from a business-as-usual approach and try something new. No one single intervention will help us achieve a smoke-free 2025 goal. We need a dramatic shift in the environment to denormalise smoking. There are six focus areas in this mission. First is the role of Indigenous Maori leadership and decision making. Next is funding more health promotion and community activities. Third is giving people enough time to cope up with the withdrawal symptoms. Then comes the decision to sell low level nicotine tobacco products. The number of shops selling cigarettes will be reduced to kickstart a smoke free generation. And finally, the government will monitor if tobacco industry and retailers follow the law. We want to make sure young people never start smoking. So we are legislating for a smoke free generation by making it an offence to sell or supply tobacco products to those aged 14 when the law comes into effect. As they age, they and future generations will never legally be able to purchase tobacco because the truth is there is no safe age to start smoking. We are also reducing the appeal and addictiveness and availability of smoked tobacco products. New laws will mean only smoked tobacco products containing very low levels of nicotine can be sold, and with a significant reduction in the number of shops that can sell them. The new action plan is considered one of the strictest crackdowns on tobacco. In 2010, Bhutan became the first country to have an outright ban on cigarette sales. In 2012, Costa Rica passed a legislation which prohibited smoking from public places. Australia was the first country in the world to mandate plain packaging of cigarettes in 2012. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.